Hello, how are you? I've been away for a hot minute and now up here in Minnesota it's turning into the winter time so it gives me a little bit more more time to not want to be outside and uh, have some fun in the, uh, the little maker space here. So what I wanted to talk about today was something that was interesting that came up with doing a printout for a friend. I had give him, given him or lent him long term a uh, Tron CX-1 and I had to print a nozzle, a heat cooler that I had to set up on there and he couldn't reprint it. So I printed it for him and an, an interesting thing happened. Stick around and let's, uh, let's see what I saw and why I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, I'm Ron and this is my place. So this is the part cooler and as you can see looking at it there's quite a bit of overhang and the way this thing prints is in vase mode. So vase mode is, a, some of you may be aware, if not I'm going to let you know, uh, vase mode is a mode that it's printing one layer of filament. So it's not doing like a wall where you're printing a whole bunch of filament side by side building up, it's literally just one stream of, of filament that goes in circles. So what that can cause is an interesting situation when you're dealing with relatively strong overhangs because anytime filament is printing, obviously it doesn't print mid air, so you need to print it on something. And that's one of the reasons that when you're printing a regular 3D print, you'll print with multiple perimeters and multiple widths and that is really what it's doing is when you print something like this it's giving a base for the next piece to to lay on all right so what that can do is it causes a kind of a bizarre concept when you're dealing with single width major overhangs and in that case if you go too far to the side there's nothing for it to hang on to so let me show you where the problem came into play. Little camera switch. So as you can see looking at these, obviously this one here is a good solid print. You can see that it's printed nice and solid. That's just the way the, uh, the way print is set up. And it worked good. Well the first one that I printed was one of these here. I don't really remember which one. It doesn't really matter. But the interesting piece is, if you can see, this one is in a situation that the, it was trying to print in midair quite a bit. So it was obviously a, a very bad print. And what you have here is 0.2 layer height. Well, this was actually 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, and 0.1 layer heights. And what that does is it changes the amount of filament that is available to be used as a base, if you will. So let me see if I can kind of visualize that for you. So when we lay down a nozzle, if typically most people are using a 0.4 nozzle width. And that, if it was a perfect world and you were laying down a 0.4 layer height with a 0.4 nozzle, it would be a perfect circle. Well, that perfect circle obviously would be laying the next one right on top. And as you can see, in this spot in between, there's hardly any space or any filament to connect. That's why most of your slicers, when they, when they go to default, they're going to be using a much smaller. Like in a 0.4 nozzle, you, you don't really want to print more than, say, 0.3. Because what that's going to do is give you a little bit of squish. And as you can see, when I squish that down, you're getting a flatter spot along the top. And when you have two of them that are squishing down, suddenly they're sticking together to each other. Together to each other? Yeah. So now most people print in, in the rough sense of a 0.2. That's going to be your kind of your fast print, rough print, if you will, um, and that's going to be literally taking the filament and smashing it in half. Okay, well, it gives you some of the widest 
point that you can really get. So you're going right across, in theory, the widest part of the filament, which is going to give you the best adhesion, and it's going to be a, a nice wide base to print on. So now, if, as I said earlier, if you're printing multiple perimeters or multiple widths, building a wall, if you will, if you're trying to do an overhang, if you're this wide, you have a complete solid piece to hang on, right? You get to print on that. And the next one is going to be this wide, and you'll have something here to print on. So it's giving you a foundation. You're building your own foundation. In fact, some of the slicers will actually print and notice that overhanging. Uh, one of the things, this one, was a perfect example of that scenario. When I printed this on the Mark III, the Prusa i3 Mark III, this was one of the default models that they have. And if you can see, this is an enormous overhang because it's printing up. So it's trying to print and attach, and as you can see, it's solid. Interestingly enough, when it prints, this was printed with, uh, sliced with uh, Prusa Edition, I believe, uh, Slick 3R. It is printing, and then it, it will actually put loops out this way to build a, kind of a mat so the next layer can go on top. Okay. So that was kind of a neat one. I was amazed when I watched this print. So now let's get back to what I was talking about of why this one failed so badly. At a point two layer height, when you go to the next layer, it's going up 0 0.2, 0 0.2 millimeters. And then the next one's 0.2 millimeters, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. You get the, you get the point. But the interesting philosophy here is if you're printing one and you get a bad print where it's not adhering, your brain immediately goes, oh, I just need to print bigger, thicker, which is not the case. Because what happens is if you're printing at 0.2 layer height, you're going up 0.2 to the next layer, but then it's shifting over. Okay, because it's going 0.2 and you've got such a, an overhang going on that it's going up and over 0.2. Well, because of your width is going to be 0.4 millimeters, it ends up giving you no spot for the filament to go onto each other. Whereas if you go up 0.1 millimeter layer heights, you're going over much less and suddenly you're having an overhang so the finer layer height you can have, the better you're going to have on an overhang in vase mode. Now, don't everybody freak out on me and say how wrong I am because this is really specifically happening in vase mode because there's a lot of prints that people like printing in vase mode and little details sometimes go badly. If, there, if there's much of an overhang and if you're printing in vase mode, you end up getting a lot of this this bad printing. So that's why I thought this was an interesting concept because when I first printed, I wasn't really thinking I was in a hurry. And the first thing I saw when I saw that it had printed bad, so then I figured I would just throw a higher layer height on there and call her good. And then when it obviously got worse, I really stopped and thought about it, which it obviously makes sense, but I thought it was cool. So just to recap, again, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and if you go up 0.4, you're going to be going up and over 0.4, and you're literally not going to have anything to go on. 0.2, it's going to be better, but still bad. And the lower your layer height is, the more overlap you're going to end up having. And that overlap in vase mode is what can cause the difference of these different types of prints. This is again 0 0.2, 0 0.3 I believe it is, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, and 0 0.1 layer heights. So the smaller the layer heights in vase mode, the more surface area you're going to have to be able to get those nice, creamy, wonderful looking vessel, complete closed vessel. All right, so I know that wasn't rocket science, but I thought it was an, a neat concept. I talked to a few people and they were struggling a little bit with it. So I thought I would do a little video. 
um, and these are really good to demonstrate. So there you go. I uh, hope you see something you like. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Let me know any questions. Put them in the comments. Uh, don't forget to tickle that subscribe button. And I've got a little bit of a cool video coming up that'll be next. A uh, little bit of a teaser. All I gotta say is Prusament. Have a good day and print everything you can.